Hey guys, Basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Please sign up for, hey, we got a newsletter. I write a thing on there and I got some of you, I have people, other people that write for me on there. That's kind of cool too. And uh, maybe a few more. I got a wonderful, uh, we'll, we'll get into that maybe in the coming weeks. Uh, so I'm sitting here as I record this, you know, I'm starting to pre-record these now uh, in the first uh, few days of the week. And um, you know, on the rest of the week, again, for me to kind of jumble up ideas, I try to write them down as I as things are, are happening, and I can pull these together while I'm still in uh, behind the mic mode and, and compartmentalize things a little bit better. But uh, it's now uh, post National Pizza Day here, and I don't feel good. Uh, <laughs> that's a weird start to the show. No, I, um, and this happens every once in a while. Uh, kind of uh, working with stuff working with stuff and um, and realizing through the night as we're having a great conversation tonight, had a great interview in the Mayhem show, great guests, great, great, great fun on wrestling Mayhem show. Awesome cast had a lot of fun and the stuff will get out there and, and then people enjoy it through the week and, and whatever happens happens. Uh, and I got another podcast in the morning that's that, that we're doing with a great guest. I've been trying to lock down for the last uh, month or so. And I'm kind of concerned, uh, say, Oof, am I going to be up for it tomorrow? Right, and then I'm feeling a little ill, and in the long run, I don't care. This is something I enjoy doing, and it's something I'm going to do. And I've talked about a little bit of um, you know what I've, it's taken for me to decide to do this thing. Um, I've mentioned how, as far as wrestling mayhem show, even when I had a day job ten years ago, holy crap, I can say that. Um. I, I, I talk about how I decided this was a thing I was going to do. I decided I'm going to be uh, without sleep on Wednesday morning uh, when I go into the day job, when I got up at like 6 in the morning or whatever the case might have been. Done that and, uh, and dealt with that and lived with that for the last 10 years, you know, for whatever case. If I got something where somebody wanted me to shoot something at 8 in the morning on Wednesday morning. That's going to be rough, but uh, we're going to do this because I love doing this and it's something that is going to happen. And that thing that I did Wednesday morning is probably something that I want to do or I want to said yes. And uh, and yeah, and that's, that's where we're at. Um, I talked about we talked about recently on, on Fishing Without Bait, wonderful podcast we do, fine podcast that we do um, about you know, hey, we talk about mindfulness, and you decide that you're going to uh, take life this way. You decide that you're going to set these expectations, um, and 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 I I fear that we say those things like it's easy. When I say that I decided that I'm going to do a show and continue to do a show and be consistent with a show about pro wrestling of all things, that seems goofy uh, even to myself when I say that out loud. Um. And a good friend, um, <laughs> a, a couple people have said, um, you know, they, it, I feel, I feel goofy saying this, but, uh, you know, they admire the determination of having done something like this for 10 years. Um, and it's not easy. And if you're trying to start something and you're finding it's hard, that's okay. It's how you react to that that's important. I decided to start a podcast, and I ran into trouble, and I've been disheartened, and I've been lonely. I was getting weird. Um, you know, at night, when I'm done with everything, and I'm down from the high of having a great conversation with people that are thousands of miles away, and wondering, Jesus, it's the right thing, you know? But you still do it. You don't let it lax. It's not easy. And I just want to make that clear. Uh, I guess is the whole point of this this episode. <laughs> um, there's uh, there's a there was a post um, and, and and the way it was worded, like I said, I think turns a lot of people off. Um, but the be somebody post from Cash Shake, who was on our great, awesome uh, chat uh, early on in the, in the show's life, I think, uh, last year, 
um, was very much about uh, you know being passionate and doing the thing that you're you're, you're you're passionate about isn't easy. And yes, you should work. And yes, it's going to suck and and all this stuff. And it's true. It is true. I I don't. You know, we look at the successes out there, and especially I read a lot of wrestling books and and watching these guys and even seeing some of the guys that have you know wrestled in the gymnasiums in front of 50 people and now they're on my tv every week um and then reading the books of others that have been big you know daniel bryan's a guy that just retired there there's not many there are not many people that have that you see as man they got it all they got it all going on. It was so easy for them to get to that point, to become an actor, to become Tom Cruise, to become whatever. There was a shitty part for everybody, I think. It's not an easy road to get to that. It, but it's it's not easy for people to see past that as well. I have a pipe dream. You know, uh, some things, you know, coming up uh, that I'm hoping come through. And uh, and uh, and there's points in there where I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't know if I'm going in the right direction, but I'm wanting to strive for that pipe dream. And it's not easy. There's a lot of times where I want to just stop and go back to a day job and just let somebody else deal about all that stuff. I just want to wake up in the morning and show up. But I know that's not for me. And not to say that's giving up, but it kind of is. That's the easy way. But it's also not the happy way for me. Um, I know that this is a, this is a thing where if you're a pro wrestler, you want to be a comedian, you want to be an actor... You uh, want to be a successful Wall Street person, something or other. I don't know. Whatever, whatever the case may be. The road is littered with the people that didn't make it. Whether they just failed miserably or they just didn't have something in them to push past the crappy part to get to whatever that reward is. And not, not that this is a financial reward or anything. Um, there's a great comment right now on my Facebook Live. Uh, from uh, John Miller, uh, that has uh, I know he listens to the Wrestling Mayhem Show and contributes over there. Um, success is always a continuation. You have it. Uh, you have you have it. You have it. Put in the time. Pipe dreams are what the world is built on, and I think that's the case. I mean, we're seeing that a lot these days. The well, the path to wealth, the path to true wealth and growth is entrepreneurship. Business, owning your own business was another thing I read. It's not easy. Decide if you if your passion is to be in a restaurant business. Most of them fail, you know. There's a guy that we had on several years ago. He was on WWE. Uh, he left WWE. He's a wrestler. He's a manager uh, at WrestleMania in a match that had t- Donald Trump. Donald Trump of all people was involved in this match, uh, and uh, and so it was his protege. And, uh, and, and he, he came on the show and he's like, yeah, I want to start a restaurant. It's going to be great. You guys should come down. I'm like, well, it's in Arizona. We'll see if we can get there from Pittsburgh. And, uh, I ran into him in, in, uh, New Jersey of all places around WrestleMania 29 at a WrestleCon and no affiliation with WWE. And he says, you know what? Restaurant business is hard, man. Harder than pro wrestling. <laughs> I think that should tell you something right there. Yes. Uh, so just a little bit of a mindset there, whether you're on your way to something, trying to start something. Um, if you're looking for the easy path, this isn't it. And deciding it's a thing that you're going to do, it's not going to be easy for you. But just because it's hard, much like I like to run towards the things I'm afraid of, also run towards the hard things. Try to keep a head on your shoulders. Try to do it the smart way. Keep the faith, man. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.